All right, everyone. So today is Wednesday, hump day, and it's also one quarter of the way through this box. So I figured every every Wednesday I would not only open the pack, but I'd open something else as well. So today I'm going to open a Fellowship Draft Pack 2, which, let's see, 29 additional game cards. I'm pretty sure there's one rare in here. And then a bunch of other cards that will, like, enhance the draft experience. So, yeah, combined with the Fellowship Block Adventure Deck and a Frodo and One Ring and three car, three eleven card booster packs. So, essentially, rather than doing a starter deck sealed, which is more what we're used to, you can take one of these, uh, take an Adventure Deck, a Frodo, and three booster packs and that's enough for you to make a deck. I'm sure it would like the decks will end up looking a lot more diverse than like a starter deck sealed, which is kind of interesting. I've only ever in physical form, I've only ever done a starter deck sealed, so I'd really like to do one of these kind of sealed experiences sometime. That would be neat. Um first I'll do the booster pack. Malorn Trees. Ooh, cool. Lernertia. It's a very usable, good, uncommon. And Bree Streets for him to not be roaming. And the rare. Ooh. Pippin, Hobbit of Some Intelligence. First rare companion. It's pretty cool. Their Halls of Stone. Noble Intentions, Coat of Mail, oh, this is one of the, uh, the Saruman's Chill that had a misprint on it. If you look, see how there's like a 1 and a 2 printed on there, and they actually had to do that on, like on one of the, not a rata, but like one of the clarification sheets, they had to like clarify that it was 1, I think, and not 2, because... They printed both on there. That's pretty interesting. Goblin Scimitar. Sleep Caradras. Shadows Reach. Back to Malorn Trees. Alright. Cool. Well, Pippin is not bad at all. He's generally a nice cannon fodder companion for a lot of different decks. Now we're going to open this. And then this way, you guys will be able to kind of see what type of stuff you'll be getting in this deck. Now note it says that they are, it contains stuff from Fellowship of the Ring, Minds of Moria, and Realms of the Elf Lords. Like a mix of all of them. Also note, like whereas, let me set this down. These are first edition. If you can see there's a little, like that little tiny circle with a one there. But these are reprint ones. See how it has the A. A means it's like the first reprint. So there is some erratum on these. All right, so what you're going to see is a lot of stuff that, well, you should be seeing a lot of stuff that is more useful for just like a deck, like just straight minions and companions. Urkai Raiding Party. Ilair Enkia. See, it's like, yeah, that's a good one to have for any uh, sealed event. Orc Veteran. That one is from set three. Orc Hunters, Orc Scouting Band, Orc Soldier, another Orc Soldier, Orc Scouting Band, an Orc Hunters, an Orc Veteran. Okay, so this pack, clearly they were trying to set you up to have kind of a Sauron deck going on. Nerdia again. <clears throat> Goblin Patrol Troop. Oh, well, now we got some Moria minions in here. Moria Archer Troop, Goblin Runner. Hobbit Sword, Mary for more of the Brandywine, ah, 3P, 3P Legolas, Son of Thranduil, so, and then 1P Aragorn. So you're getting a lot of useful companions. Ranger Sword, too, in between both of him. Both of the Aragorns, you get Ranger Sword, so that's useful. Pippin Mr. Took. Oh, my rare is Frodo Old Bilbo's heir. Very cool. 
it's not first edition, but it's cool. Gimli, Dwarf of the Mountain Race. Their Halls of Stone, Dwarf Guard, Dwarven Axe, Far and Dwarven Emissary, Cleaving Blow, and another Gimli, Dwarf of the Mountain Race. So you can see these packs get you... We didn't get a Gandalf, but... Uh, like, you got a lot, a solid base of companions to set up a deck. Like, even if you didn't get any companions in the three booster packs. So, essentially, like, you're, you'll have a lot to work with just out of this here. You know, as much or actually more than just the Fellowship starter decks because, like, they threw in a dwarf guard for you as well, Far and Dwarven Emissary. So, you have, like, a lot to work with if you were building a like a deck off of this for a sealed experience. Of course, like the shadow is going to be a little more mishmash. Um, they looks like they tried to give you a little bit of everything for you to be able to, I guess, like apply, decide what you want to apply to what you got in your packs, depending on if you got like any really good Moria pulls in your packs or Sauron pulls. But anyway, that's what, that's what that looks like. Quite a few cards. If you just, if you want to get started and just have companion support and it gives you a lot of the the promo or the yeah the promo companions the ones that we would normally get in starter decks we got like five of those in this in one pack all right well anyway thanks for tuning in and uh next week or i'll post a picture and see what you guys think about what i should open next week for the hump day pack in addition to the booster pack. Thanks and see you tomorrow.